Music Abort, good morning. Um, I bring you to the home and workspace of Victor Baker, New York-based guitar builder that joined the D'Angelico family to keep up the heritage of Mr. D'Angelico. <laughs> um, how do you feel about being the follower of that big name in guitar building? Well, it's a big shoes to fill, but it's an, it's an honor and it's, it's really exciting to bring these instruments back to New York and uh, you know, be able to build them where they came from, and it's 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 a uh, it's quite an honor. Yeah. Um, we should let people know that um, you said I lived Archcop guitar since I can think. You played yes. jazz music yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're part of the New York music scene, so mm -hmm. you know which tone to hunt for. Sure. And uh, in addition to that, you started to build guitars mm -hmm. from the knowledge that you have. Right. Still searching for the tone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I started building as a hobby, but I found that I was pretty good at it. Okay. <laughs> so congratulations. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And uh, you know, over the years, I I was doing my own instruments, and uh, yeah, the, being a player has definitely helped as far as knowing things instinctually about. Archtop and the way they should go together and sound and feel and play and all that. Absolutely. Okay. So, to give our folks back home just a little inside you mm -hmm. on your, your today's project right. is to fit a neck <laughs> sure. into a guitar. So, so this is a, a, a little body that we are doing on a reproduction for a uh, Excel model from the, I think it's from the 30s, or early 30s, a very early instrument. Um, and I took a lot of measurements from the guitar. It was at a music store in, in the city here. And uh, this is where I'm at on the reproduction. Um, this is the neck and, you know, it's, it's in mid-process. I have just glued the fingerboard on and uh, the inlays need to be cleaned off. The, the, the fretboard has to be trued and, you know, mm -hmm. obviously frets have to be installed. But what I'm doing today is uh, doing, doing the rough fit for the, for the dovetail joint. The dovetail is, is uh, this tapered, part of the neck here. What mm. it does is it fits into the guitar body like this, and this taper keeps it very secure okay. um, You know, to counteract the string tension. The string tension comes this way, and since it's tapered, it, it wedges itself inside yep. this, it's called a mortise here. Um, it wedges itself inside the mortise, and uh, very secure, very strong joint. Um, if it's if it's fit well, you you don't even really need much glue. I yeah. mean, obviously, I will put the glue in there, but um, yeah. Basically, what I did here is I just took out some some rough, uh, you know, some of the waste material on the bandsaw. Yep. And I'm going to trim that with the chisels and you know bang that there and you know take measurements, fit the neck, you know, and trim out what I need to. And this should this should fit pretty 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 good. Pretty well here. there. And then uh, what I'll do is. Uh, when that's done, I'll glue the back on the guitar, and then so we we'll have basically the is that a, a hidden thing the inside? Yeah, yeah. This is no, you know. Um, no, I mean not hidden when the guitar is ready, but hidden from the competitors. Oh no, no, no. Yeah. You oh, can, do we yeah, have you, to cut that out? This yeah, time? I mean you'd have to take <laughs> measurements to know what I did. But this okay. this is pretty standard. This is called a parallel, um, you know, uh, parallel, parallel bracing. Yeah, parallel bracing. Uh, yeah, pretty standard in in. The older model arch top guitars on uh, like non cutaway models. Okay. Um, you know most of the mass is right under here where the where the bridge feet sit. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty pretty simple concept. Um, but yeah, the recipe comes into into play when when you know what the measurements are and like the the, the shape the, of the things. the shape and the yeah. carvers and yeah. where the vibrations go to. Exactly, yeah. And so. you told us earlier that sort of the middle part is strong, the edges are a bit yeah, weaker, the, uh, so the vibrations will still... Exactly. Or can still do their job on the edges. Mm -hmm. Yep, the, the, start the, the center of the, the soundboard has more, more mass and it tapers out towards the edges. It's called a grad... they're called graduations. So, uh, yeah, the energy can dissipate and create a better tone, a bigger, bigger fuller sound. So. Yeah. Earlier, we, we tried to get a figure on how much time you spend on building it, and you said I, you wouldn't know because you just build them until they're really done. Right, we just sort of take Which is sort of the traditional needs. concept of sure. Mr. D'Angelico as mm -hmm. well, because yep. some of the customers were waiting for somewhere around two years. Yeah, hopefully I won't be, <laughs> be that long of a wait. But yes, they, arch tops just take a lot of time in general. 
And since we're working on so many different things at once, um, you know, like we, we do small runs. It's not like a production. Yeah. I mean, uh, we do five, maybe five or six guitars at once. But even with that, it's kind of hard to keep track of what I spent on this guitar, what I spent on that guitar. And really, we don't watch the clock. I mean, we just do it until it until it's done and take what time it needs. Um, you know, it's 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 time consuming and maybe not the the best way to make a living. But I mean, <laughs> the, the you know, the you know, we we take what time it needs, and the passion is 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 what we're really about. What makes us tick. Yeah. It's always the important part to yeah, the passion exactly. drive you. Yeah, it, absolutely. So. Um, I think we'll just make a short break and we mm -hmm. bring one of the other guitars that has a yeah, really sure. specific look to it. Okay, yeah. Okay, we're back with something special. The teardrop. You can see the arch top fading out where it would normally be fading out. At least it looks to me like that. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And then there's a smaller teardrop attached to it. A leftover from a customer demand somewhere in the last century. In yesteryear, yeah. <laughs> in yesteryear, um, I, yeah. I think somewhere in the 50s. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure the original, uh, excuse me, uh, John made the original guitar. Somebody in the band called the Teardroppers, or the Teardrops, like a 50s group or something. They uh -huh. wanted they wanted a custom guitar with a teardrop on it, and a teardrop shape. So uh, that's where the, uh, the original came from. This is a, a reproduction. Um, the first one we did here in New York, the original had a uh, a regular sunburst, more a traditional kind of a wine burst yep. look. But the guys at D'Angelico thought it might be cool to to do the blue burst, you know, like the old uh, like the Scott Chinnery collection uh, had um, all the blue guitars. If you if you're familiar with the blue guitar book, mm -hmm. um, so this is the same same colors as those, same exact dye as that but with the teardrop shape. And uh, it's basically the same as one of the regular New Yorkers were doing, except for the uh, custom extension. I, you know, it has a, a very ornate pick guard, custom okay. bridge. And uh, it's, you know, we're just finishing the paint job. That's why it still has this tape here. Tape on the neck. But yeah. it has a, uh, you know, block inlay. It has and, one extra stripe or what, two extra uh, stripes? This, is, this, this has 13 plies. Yes. 13 plies. <laughs> <laughs> so it's probably about uh, twice the amount of okay. what, what, what we normally do. And you know it's been a, it's a really big challenge getting, getting all this the, uh, stuff to meet up exactly. Yeah. They're called miters, yeah. and uh, you know one of the guys here at the shop is really specialized in that. I showed him my techniques to do it, and uh, yeah, it turned, this is how it turned out. Considering you now buy a new master-built guitar, mm -hmm. and we were talking earlier, you said well without specific customer demands, you would design them a bit more modern sure because the old the angelico guitars they sounded great mm -hmm. if used for the purpose they were built for right which is a different style or demand yeah maybe a different today, style perhaps um, just minor alterations mm -hmm. um so everything is going to be a bit more modern mm -hmm. yeah and modern meaning like maybe a thinner neck slightly thinner neck uh lighter action um different different way the neck is set as far as the truss rod um, you know, the older guitars had really high action, so they could have a maximum acoustic volume, maybe with no amplification. Um, you know, obviously, guitars these days have, you know, yeah. pickups and amplification is readily it's available. It's like just the same as you don't need the 200 watt Marshall pad <laughs> anymore. <laughs> yeah, sure. He's because just, the PA yeah. is better anyway. <laughs> right, exactly. So, so yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's probably the way to do it. You know, the, most most people don't like a big baseball bat feeling neck, so yeah. But so if, if you do, I can do if it. If you do, <laughs> yes. <well. laughs> if you if you want it to be as original as possible, which would include include uh, from the thickness of the neck, basically a bit more on the base side, yeah. strength there. Mm -hmm. um, then you would have to custom order, which is possible because yeah, it's if it's master build. Yeah, that's what we custom do. Custom order, yes. but you have to be aware beforehand what the results are. It's mm -hmm. like. Then you have to work with the customer and explain them in detail which direction yeah. you're going to or, go. Or if you're a, if if you have a, if you're a big guy with large hands, it makes sense to do that. Makes Maybe have a well. wider nut and a, and a bigger feeling neck. So that's that's a uh, physical consideration as well. If you look another 50 years into the future, mm -hmm. because the the old guitars that we found now, as you said, the um, the X-rays or the, the the guitar that you've been used mm -hmm. for. Um, copy and pasting the, the shape. Sure. 
sort of had a minor twist in that. Yeah, with many now, alterations actually, I had yeah. a lot of adjustments, but yeah. If we now go 50 years into the future, mm -hmm. where will those be? Will they be like broken in and have to sell? Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Material? Hopefully, I mean, if the, I, the, the goal <laughs> you is... You never really know, but... <laughs> sure, sure, I mean, the goal is of a guitar maker is to have your instruments play, being used to play music, not as a... Uh, as a collector's not, item. Yeah, not as a, a trophy or something. Um, yeah, as you play an instrument, it matures in its tone. It opens up. Um, that's what I would like to like to see. I would like to see a lot of wear on it. Like okay. Chips and cracks in the finish and all kinds of all stuff like that. You know, I don't want to see it perfect. I want to make. I want to see that it was used to make music. It was used to make yeah, music. Absolutely. Which is the sole purpose. Right. Yeah. Banged around and taken from gig to gig. So. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Here we've got like poly and nitro and urethane and poly. Is yeah, these are all the different uh, layers. We can't have to keep track of what we do on the finish. Okay. So uh, a lot of the different layers have, um, you know, like the pigment layer. I put, I float that in a different material than I do the top coat. But the the the, uh, the thing I always try to, to strive to do with these finishes is to keep them as as thin as possible. Okay. Um, you know, I in in past years I've used all the traditional stuff like nitrocellulose. Um, we chose to, do, to use the, uh, the poly material on this just because it's more durable, more modern. It's mm -hmm. not gonna crack, it's not gonna check in weather because we have to send these all over the world. So yeah. um, we have to make sure we have a finish that's a little more durable than the- But again, they're both options if you want to or? Oh uh, yeah, sure, I can do, I can do full, full nitro. Okay. Um, but, the, but the main goal, to me as a builder, it's not really what the finish is it's how much of it is yeah so um, we we do everything by hand as far as the finishes go we don't machine sand we do everything mm -hmm. block sand it's called block sanding where you, yeah. you do everything with your arms you know that way we make sure we keep the finishes as as thin as they possibly can be but you know still being very protective of the guitar you know yeah. with, with the adequate protection it needs um, that way it doesn't choke the guitar, you know, having a big right. plastic coating on the guitar makes it sound not so great. So, the, so. basically your point as well is um, that the problem on the guitar is not poly, the problem then is too be much. too much of it. Too much of anything on too it. Too much yeah. of anything yeah, 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 yeah. on okay. um, You know, polyester is, 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 people like it. The durability of it—you don't have to worry about scratch. Keeps the shine. A bit yeah, it longer. keeps the shine. It doesn't scratch as easily, and it's very hard. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually a more difficult finish to polish because it's so hard for us. Okay. But once it's there, I mean, you can see how how gleaming it is, and it, but it, but it stays that way, mm -hmm. and it doesn't shrink, and it doesn't do all the weird stuff that nitro will. But nitro I will mean, be. I love nitrocellulose. In fact, we do most of the color stages still mm -hmm. with the nitrocellulose. Um, so it will actually age a little bit and, and yeah. turn and turn a little yellow, okay. um, but the actual finish won't won't check and crack as easily yeah. and dent as easily and, and flake away as the years go on. So yeah, in the long run, it's it's a it's a better finish. So guys, either you find one that is pre-built, mm -hmm. if you find one because <laughs> there's not too many, mm. <laughs> or if you're uh, if you can wait and you exactly know what you want. Mm -hmm. We can still talk to the guys and oh, I'd be happy have to build your, it. your yeah. own guitar being yeah. built. Yeah, come to the chef. I'll make you a, a good come dish. Come to the chef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for that um, introduction to your oh. um, sound restaurant. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Pleasure. And um, keep on building them. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you.